thinking that they could be there for 24, 36 or more hours without any kind of attention. Um, it just breaks your heart. And like I said, even, even the most indifferent person, I think, would, would walk away very depressed. More than a dozen animals seized from a property in Madison County. Tonight, authorities are investigating whether those dogs and chickens may have been used for animal fighting. CBS4's Lindsay Eaton has more on where this case stands and how investigators were alerted to this activity. It's, it's an extremely depressing thought to think that human beings would allow this. Here at this rundown property in Madison County, this is where authorities seized 14 animals. Detectives believe the dogs and chickens were being trained and used for animal fighting. A couple of the dogs seemed very friendly to us. You could walk right up to them. But as soon as they got beside another dog, they just immediately turned aggressive. Authorities found eight pit bulls and six chickens and hens on this property off South Range Line Road. These are pictures Madison County Sheriff Scott Mellinger shared with us. He says evidence on scene and injuries on some of the animals are consistent with animal fighting. I think when they see something like we saw yesterday where you've got a 25 pound dog dragging around a 10 pound chain um, as it tries to walk, you know, 10 feet away from, from its shelter. All the dogs were malnourished. There wasn't any food and the water hadn't been changed in days. That. Sheriff Mellinger assumes the animals were left chained and alone there for days at a time. They would probably give anything to be treated kindly and be able to just go for a walk or a run. Right now, investigators are working to track down a person of interest. They're not releasing a name yet, but tell us this person has passed complaints and citations for animal neglect so they're confident they're on the right track. This is something we feel like is probably happening more often than we know, and we'd love to get to the bottom of it. This investigation started with a tip. Someone passing by her dogs barking and crying to the extent that it sounded suspicious. That person called 911. Sheriff Mellinger credits that person for opening up this case and possibly saving these animals. We owe a lot to a person who reported this anonymously. In Madison County, Lindsay Eaton, CBS 4 News. Now, the Indiana Gaming Commission is also involved in this disturbing investigation. All the animals are being housed at the Animal Protection League there in Anderson. Anyone with information in this case should contact the Madison County Sheriff's Office.